Hello everyone. Now we will jump on to implementation of screen exit. In the previous videos, we studied what screen exit is, how to find a screen exit. Now we will see how to implement a screen exit. Now, what is, what is our requirement in CAT 2 transaction code? I want a checkbox with the text that whatever the timesheet I am filling is correct or true up to my knowledge. So I want additional elements on the screen. So we will implement the screen exit. Now, same to same, you all know very well if we want to implement any type of customer exit, it can be function module exit, menu exit, screen exit. You have to go to which transaction code? C mode. So we will go to C mode transaction code. I will go to C mode. We need to give the project name in C mode transaction code. We are always, always giving the project name. So I will give the project. So this is our screen exit. So I'm saying ZS exit and I will give some serial number. I will click on to create button. Yes, we clicked on to create button. I will give that description. Project for screen exit. And we are going for screen exit in which transaction code? CAT2. I'm providing some meaningful description. Then we have to click on to which particular button enhancement assignment and I will save this. I'll save this as a local object. Now, most important in function module exit, menu exit, we put so much stress. Now we'll put the stress in screen exit also. You have to put the customer exit name here. How you will find the customer exit name? You have to go to S mode transaction code. Utilities, find. What is the package name in which CAT2 is there? Now, we studied that this particular customer exit will help. In this customer exit, we only, only have the screen exit. So I will copy this customer exit, I will pass. So we're done with this step. We clicked on to enhancement assignment tab and we pass the customer exit name. Whenever you will click on to components tab, it will show the components in this customer exit. It can be function module exit, it can be menu exit, it can be screen exit. So I'll click on to components tab. Yes, we want to save. Now you can see in that func in that customer exit, we only only has the screen exit. Is the screen exit is coming? Yes. Just see, is the same to same entry is there? If you double click here, same to same entry. We have the subscreen area. We have the subscreen area. Subscreen number, subscreen number. This is the screen in which you will in the in this screen, the subscreen will call thousand thousand. Now we will simply simply implement the screen exit. Now, after getting the screen exit, you have to double click on the required screen exit. Double click. Now it is saying, do you want to create the screen 2000? Yes, we want to create the screen 2000 because we will design the layout on the screen 2000. We will design our layout elements on the screen 2000. Yes. Now it is taking us to screen number 2000. Now I will give that description. Suppose sub screen for cat to initial screen. Now, the most important part and maximum people will do the mistake here. They will not change the type. See, it should work as a subscreen. Otherwise, 
how you can call normal into normal your normal spin is 1000 in that you are again calling the normal 1000 that is not possible maximum people did everything right but they forgot to change the screen type. Screen type is 2000. Screen type is subscreen. You can go for layout. Now here we will design our things. So we will go for checkbox. This is our checkbox. Suppose name of the checkbox is check. And we will give the text. The information is correct. Information is correct or true. You will find so many real-time examples where we are checking, where we are, where we are taking the declaration from the from the person itself. We will save, we will close, and we will activate. So we designed the layout on the subscreen 2000. Now, never, never forgot to activate the project as your changes will not reflect. You can simply, simply activate the project. Is this in green color? Yes, this is in green color. So this screen number 2000 will call into screen 1000 Subscreen area cust screen to cust scr2. You can simply relate. Go to cat2 and you can see status screen number 1000. Is the subscreen 2000 will come into subscreen area of this? Yes, SAP already gave the logic for the same. Now you are already able to see the screen, but I will just show you CAT2 again. You are already able to see. I will go to CAT2. And just tell me, are you getting the additional element on the standard screen itself? Yes. And this is the subscreen. This is the subscreen, which is called into this standard screen. And we put so much stress that we are not not designing the layout on the standard screen we will design the layout elements on the step on the customer subscreen and it will call into the standard screen so this is the way how you can implement the screen exit so i'll just read the steps you created the screen you design the respective layout of the screen Never, never forgot to change the screen type to subscreen and you activated the project. Now, same to same way, same to same. See, you design the layout elements on the screen. Many times this kind of requirement come that you want to save the values of those fields, whatever the additional fields you designed on the screen. At that time, you have to write the logic and we all know if you want to write the logic, you have to go for which particular type of exit, function module exit, or you can say function exit. So see, you went for menu exit, you went for screen exit, but ultimately if you want to save something or if you want to write the code, we'll go for simple. If you want to write customer specific code, you have to go for function module exit. So function module exit is playing a vital role in case of menu exit also, in case of screen exit also. So in this video, what we studied, we studied how to implement a particular screen exit. Now, same to same way, we should not hamper because other people will also use this system Whenever you are you doing something into SAP program, never, never forgot to undo these things because after practice, you should undo the things. So I will go to see more transaction code. This is the project we created. So I will simply and deactivate the project first because we cannot delete directly. Then you can delete the project. We have not implemented any function module exit. 
So there's no need to delete the include because we have not written any code. Now I will go to cat2 and show you the output again. Do we have a additional layout element now? Because we deleted the implementation. So we finished with the full explanation of screen exit also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.